one sec. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh man, what the fuck? Where am I? What the fuck? Seeing this video in its natural 4x3 unaltered form connected so many neurons in my brain and placed the song in a very special place in my mind. Most people can probably remember the time when they were sitting in their friend's 2007 Camry when they put on something ear jarring and they expect you to fucking like it. And I'm gonna be honest, if I hadn't known of the aesthetic of Blade and someone put this shit on while I was in the car, I would fucking say, oh yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. But for some reason, that meme did something special, and here I am, three years later, with worse music taste than ever. And that's what happens when you stumble upon a song through your own volition, instead of someone else trying to impose their song choice onto you. For me, it was the Drain Gang meme, but really, it could be any artist, and you could come across it through any medium. When someone suggests you music, it's in their best interest, because they get the validation if you think it's good and it feels out of your control. Basically, it's like giving someone homework and just expecting them to go do it for absolutely no reason, just so that they can confirm their own bias and say that their taste is based. In reality, I've heard so many songs and sound choices that I'm bound to like one of them, but in the end, it's about more than just the raw sound. Without something relatable to latch onto and really remember what you were listening to, it kind of just becomes noise. I'm not going to bring up Maslow's hierarchy of needs here to prove my point, but you know, self-actualization and expression is pretty high up there. Even if I did just like the song on its own, there's got to be some neurological reason why I didn't click away. While I am a doctor, my theory suggests that the dopamine lingering around in your brain from the meme actually gave you time to process what the song is about. I'm thinking the creator did something right by scratching that novelty itch in my brain, so maybe I'll find more if I search up the song. But at that point, it's too late. You're already down the spiral. You're done. It's over. Next thing you know, you're gonna be fucking buying stickers and putting them in random places because you want people to ask you what the fuck are those stickers. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like I liked Blade the first second I heard it, but I liked the way that the meme was portrayed and it left many questions in my mind for me to go and search for. Whether it's about the meme or the music, I'm still invested in that channel of thought. Why did the creator of the meme choose this song to represent it? Did this auto-tune gibberish from Sweden really just capture the essence of bath time rambunctiousness? Because I mean, isn't that the goal of all music to amplify what we're already seeing? Basically, they've sent you on this wild goose chase of an adventure to figure out why they chose this, where it comes from, and who are the type of people that like this shit. At the end of the day, we don't want to live in a world where people are only hearing music recommendations by word of mouth. We see an even more drastic trend toward what is already popular, and if music is about self-expression, then being able to find music through things you already like is the purest form of that. Now let's see if I can keep the Yorboros snake going and ruin someone else's music taste. Sikes coming in, hunters going on. Hunt is going on, hunt is coming in, hunt is going on, hunt is coming in, hunt is going on.